the features and advantages that we have. We have connectivity in rural areas. Mobile phone is the primary mode that we can reach the um, all parts of Bangladesh. Everybody doesn't have a mobile phone themselves in their pocket, but they have direct or indirect access to mobile phone. So if somebody wants to get some information, wants to get connected, they know they either have a phone or they know somebody close by who has a phone, they can use it. So that's connectivity. If when it comes to connectivity, that's very important for communication, for dissemination of information, if you want to ask for information. So mobile phones give us that. It has text and image capability. The content. Text and image, that's exactly what your books have. Text and images. You don't need anything else. Sound capability. Actually, this is something that your books did not have. Now mobile phones can do better than your books. Picture capability. The picture taking capability is even more powerful. Now you can ask a question by showing, say, you take a picture of your test in, in your credit field. Say, well, I have this problem. And then you can ask your teacher, hey, okay, now you tell me what type of pesticide I need, or do I need any pesticide? We always know like, it's always on, so communication can be both ways. Uh, you can uh, request for communication, the full model, or you can push communication to them. And it's always with learning. If you have a mobile phone, you always have it. So you have your book with you, wherever you go. And that's very powerful. Like, um, the, the times where uh, your books are, or you don't have the books, they in the library, or you couldn't buy the books, and now you have it. Now the cons for uh, mobile phone, uh, mobile phones by nature that is mobile, it has small screen, also price is an issue here and affordability, you know, thinking about the whole Bangladesh, you have to consider that. So we have to we have to uh, whatever we do in this education, we have to think about it. And uh, most phones in Bangladesh are still basic phones with no yeah, no internet connection. Um, so you have the uh, SMS capability, you have the voice capability, that is some data but you don't have the internet connectivity. And actually, you don't need that. For the most part that you want to do, the capabilities are there. And we'll talk a little bit more about it. So, yeah, it, it's nice if you had, if everybody had an um, iPad or an iPhone. If, you know, if are, all the farmers will give an iPhone and then we'll have a distance uh, learning. Yes, it will be a dream, but that will be an unrealistic dream. Okay, so who can learn uh, using mobile phones? Two <coughs> groups, that could be students, real students, and then non-students. Real students, you can supplement regular school. Um, we have the, um, we can have the distance education program where somebody can uh, go at the Open University. And you have non-students, farmers. They want to know about state fertilizers. You want to know about uh, on-demand content. You want to know about something. Whatever question you have in mind, let you learn that. You have um, parents helping students. Children, um, students are trying to learn. Parents are trying to help. But sometimes parents don't know. They're not. Rather than teaching wrong things or admitting that they don't know, if they have the access to some service where they could know and then teach. Parents care for their education. So, you know, yes, we know that in our system, teachers don't always care as much they should, but parents do. And if parents do, then if you enable them to learn and then teach, we can improve quite a bit. Teachers training is another uh, sort of uh, area. So, so now I will present a few ideas uh, for a few tools and ideas of how mobile phone can be useful for, uh, for um, distance education and um, one after another. Once again, any time if you have any questions, comments, feel free. 
So the, the first thing is um, crowdsourcing for Bangla education content. Um, when it comes to education uh, in a country like Bangladesh, I think there's no alternative of using Bangla. Well, everybody should learn English. <coughs> maybe they should, maybe they shouldn't. The best way to learn is using Bangla. Our mass population only knows Bangla, and not, not everybody will be uh, writing software uh, for foreign companies, and not everybody will need to speak with foreign companies. So, except for the you know, uh, call center dream that we have, Bangla still can do a lot for us. Uh, Japan doesn't need English for all of their people, and uh, neither does China, and they will doing well in their, their language. So we need all lots of Bangla content, and where, we, where do we get it? So here, here is the idea, we, we can create this content among or using the people within this country. And this idea is called crowdsourcing. So we can send this problem, distribute this problem to the crowd. Here we have a lot of people. So if we have to write five articles, we will distribute these five articles among this group. Maybe everybody will not like these articles, and somebody will. So the idea here is you SMS a new topic to 10 authors, 10 volunteer authors, who and then one author will accept that, and then others will say, okay, that is already gone. And that author will send their content. That content could be whatever. You know, I want to know about you know, 10 lots of pictures of somebody. If somebody wants to know about pest problem, well, those farmers have the pests in their fields. They can just send pictures. And by the way, you have a picture archive to fill this whole encyclopedia. When the Bangladesh Science Foundation is creating this encyclopedias, the researchers writing this article, they don't have pictures. Where do they get the pictures? They live in the city. They do not travel a lot, and they don't have the opportunity to travel a lot. But if you want to get the best appropriate pictures from the country, outsource that. We need pictures on this, and you will get all the pictures in one single day. The country will have a picture archive of all the things you want to learn in one day. So that's, that's what I'm called by crowdsourcing. Use the people to generate the content, and that that content will be used by the people. The content from people, for people. Um, looks like I'm uh, talking about the, the famous, it is good vendors, but I don't want to talk about that. Okay, uh, translation. Again, uh, translating a book or web content, we can do that. Uh, the easy encyclopedia, just, you know, we can start translating.